What's up guys, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts, and I just got back from Whoppy Bricks, which is a Lego store in West Bend, Wisconsin, and I got a bunch of cool things I'm gonna show you today, so let's get into it. So the first thing I got was this First Order Snow Speeder. So I don't really like the sequels, but I really do like the minifigures in the set. I think they look super cool. I have the Microfighter version of this, and I really like the minifigure in there, and these are basically the exact same, except they have waist capes, yay. And the build does look very cool, so I'm very excited to build this one. So here is the first order snow speeder all put together and built, and I think it looks amazing. It's more detailed than I expected it to be. It has a lot of stickers, but I didn't have to apply them. It also does have some great minifigures, especially the guys with the waist cape and the guy with the red cloth piece. I think he looks super cool. The set isn't actually complete, however. It did say complete on the box, but it is missing this whole front of the gun. It snapped off, I'm guessing, and it is missing some boxes, but... It also is missing this slope piece down here, but I actually grabbed some of those when I was doing the pick-a-brick there, so I was able to complete that, and that made me very happy. So the next thing I got was this 501st Clone Battle Pack. It says it's used and it's complete, and it's just in this box. It comes with the minifigures, so that's the main reason I bought it, because I want to have more clone troopers. Okay, so I got the box open, and I'm curious to see if everything is in here. And it looks like it's not built, so I'll have to see if that's complete, but I do see the minifigures in there. That's a good sign. The 501st Battle Pack was complete, thankfully. I do have one of these already, so it wasn't the biggest deal. It also did come with all the minifigures complete, which is mainly why I bought it. It didn't have instructions, though, but luckily I did have some in my own collection. This next thing I got is super cool. It's basically a pick-a-brick bag. If you've ever gone to the Lego store and they have that huge wall with bricks that you can pick and put in, like, a bin to take home, they basically have this at Whoppy Bricks as well. And I got this entirely for free. Because if you fill out a five-star review, you get a whole bag of this for free. And I did that, and I think it was a really good deal. Well, obviously, it's a great deal. It's free. You're getting Lego for free, basically. And I got a lot of cool pieces from it. So the final thing I got on my Lego adventure was I got this Batman poly bag thing. Batman 1992 poly bag. And this is a really cool poly bag. I didn't get this from Whoppy Bricks. I got it from an Aldi, which is a very weird place to get Legos. I don't know why they had this, but I've been wanting this for a very long time and it looks super cool. I'm not gonna open it yet because I wanna do a review, but I'm very excited to build this. So there you have it, guys. That was my Lego Star Wars Whoppy Bricks haul and I guess Lego Batman at Aldi haul. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below if you enjoyed this. Because I do like making these haul videos, even though they require money, they are very fun for me to build new sets. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.